Welcome back to the round table. It's cooking in here again a little bit, but not as bad as last time. And we are continuing now our little battle of knowledge against Devascales. No, our duel of wits. Exactly. And I Let's have nothing see. to do there because you have both characters. Well, you have Edgeworth and... Uh, hmm, okay, where were we? How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? You haven't... You have to read it in Vasquez's voice. I think you haven't read that yet. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Well... well that is the question. Could she? Oh, it's again. I, I give you a hint again. It's again something that was shown to you, but is not visibly in the evidence. But it's well, stuck out. I'm thinking about, obviously, the uh, the fence, as well as the fact that the tip of the spear was detached, so she could have stabbed him with only the tip, and then reattached it, possibly? Uh, okay, no. <laughs> so, just answer her the question. Was she able to use the spear, or did she not use the spear? Uh, I mean, my first gut instinct would be that she couldn't, that she would have to use some other means to be tricky about it. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Oh, do I? Oh, I mean, then my initial thought is still this. Uh, but then again, he didn't mm. bleed on the scene, so does that mean that he wasn't actually pierced? I mean, she has ties to the mafia, so they could have maybe cleaned up the blood. Yes, I'm. But there should have been. I don't know if that would have turned up as evidence in that case. Let's see. Drove him over with a car. Samuel Westby was not used as the murder weapon. Then I mean, that is still... the only thing. The other thing would be the spear itself because it was broken. Yes, this is the one thing that stands out. <laughs> Hiya! Oh. <laughs> Wrong, Mr. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now to know when you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too, with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right, okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon because of... Let's see... Then there's the sleeping pills, which... I mean, it was empty, so... Overdose, or... God damn it. Well, Powers had the sleeping pills. Uh, that is correct. Then I can only think of the car. Why the car? And I thought he would punish you. Apparently not. I guess I have several tries. I thought you would get a punishment each time. Well, what the heck is it? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, Could what? it be? Could what? he have been under this? But he died from a stab wound and not from a concussion. 
I mean, look at the autopsy report, what it, the cause of death is. Cause pierced. Pierced. The chest. Okay, so, so the game was simply... Well, I suppose the blood would simply not be in Studio One because he didn't die in that place. I mean, yeah. Still I mean, in the end, probably just it, maybe it is just the spear because it's taped together with duct tape, and that wouldn't be able to hold the force you would need to stab someone. Stabbed with a bone. Well, that's ah, uh huh. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. After fumbling about. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action run-through. But someone fixed the spear. It was that security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible? For someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest. Yeah, why did nobody question that before? I mean, I did. O order, order. Mr. White, what are you driving at? Think about what you are. Silence. I'm not the one testifying here. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> are you quite sane? Are you, are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can't tell you. I don't wanna. I mean, in the end, both of these are white. You can't, he can, you can't tell because it wasn't a weapon at all. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Miss Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. And once again, I'm still... I'm still saying that it would be the, just a tip. That is the only thing um, that I can think of. Where was the steel samurai? In Studio One, on his back. No, why was he on his back? What? Wait, steel samurai as in... Yeah, Mr. Hammer as Steel the I mean, steel it samurai. was made clear that the Steel sa Samurai was in Studio 2. Even though it was found in Studio 1. No, that was Jack Hammer as the Magistrate dead at Studio 1. You're confusing me. I don't know anything right now. What? <laughs> I mean... You already looked at the white evidence. They were both in Studio 2 at the time. And Jack Hammer was... Blackmailed? For an accident? Yes. And look about what that accident was? Yes. And he got pierced through the chest? Yes. What is the murder weapon? I mean, that was the thing that I was trying to give him, but he would just say, No, that's the wrong evidence. <laughs> no, the, what you wanted to prove before is why the spear couldn't be the murder weapon. Okay. And now you um, have to prove what was the murder weapon. Well, in that case, I understand. <laughs> okay, I thought, what? No, you have to know it. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I just didn't understand the question. Oh. Look at this photo. What? What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, order, order. If I cannot have order, 
This trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the Cohen case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the, f how the fence post pierced him through the chest? W what? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again! <laughs> Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30pm on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? Five years ago? Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Or more poetic, I guess. Oh, oh, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You, you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammond died as that trail, as the trailer, uh, at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One, and returned to the trailer, all in the space of fifteen? Of a 15 minute break. How could I how could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? Then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. This one. Block the path to the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. But if it happened at 2.30, how did she get past that monkey? That is the question. She would have to have some. The van is obviously the one thing that comes to mind. Then there was... Uh, the things in the picture that I cannot bring up right now. And then there's the forest paths around the studio that Cody was on. So it's very unclear. What I don't what? understand, even if she did move it, where's the blood from the initial piercing? Did nobody notice that? So someone cleaned it off? Yeah, but who, I mean... I don't I mean, know uh, how excessive the bleeding was. Excessive, something like that. Yeah, soaked up by the flowers. I'll buy the costume. <laughs> hmm. I bet she could move it. She would have an... No, I don't think she could move it on her own. So she would either have to... 
but she must have had another way. What if she had another way of, to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. I mean, you pointed it already out. Yeah, that is... Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. <laughs> Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, White. Don't forget it was Salmonella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? I think so. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Ha. I lose. You win. It was fun. Wait, I, what? I win? Did she just... Confess? Um, did she just do that? So, what happens next? Huh? Don't ha me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that? I just said that. Mm -hmm. wait, wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you. God, I was just guessing. Mm -hmm. You killed Jack Hammer. Even the audience does and know how to react. Who can say? <laughs> huh? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive evidence, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Wait! Order! Mr. Ed bah, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um... Mm, uh, of course it's as the witness says. Certainly it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth even sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. And if you've got no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh! What do I do now? You did it, best guess. Testify again, no further questions. Huh? Uh. I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. 
think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What should happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn! Damn! To come so far, only to fail. What would be the decisive evidence? As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> Music for him? Oh, 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 yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. You are the first prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. Uh, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see what we have. I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? <clears throat> well, yes, um. Indeed, verily, I say, ergo, uh, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well, then the witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Huh. Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? Who knows? Oh, sorry. <laughs> He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. Oh, you will be surprised later on. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. The on only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm, I see, no, I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we are close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Ah, okay, twist the truth out of her with the key because you have to twist the key in the lock to... Oh, well. <laughs> twist the metaphor. Sal and old bag. What time was that? We were to meet at five for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manila arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. It wasn't stuffing any bodies. I wasn't stuffing any bodies in the costumes, mind you. Hmm. I mean, uh, why wouldn't you press harder? Always press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well? Then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? 
You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. But boy, the witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only powers was asked. I mean, the assistant. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So she, so he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm? Mm -hmm. I was completely livid, frantic, completely hectic. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. <sighs> mm. Harder. Harder. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murder body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez. Wait, what? Ha. Huh. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. We were thinking very emotionally, also. Without his steel samurai costumes, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him in on the location. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Oof. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. I also was always left behind. Nobody missed me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Vasquez, you may continue. Immediately call the police. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. The silence of the lambs. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. And more silence. Uh, hey, Nick? Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Bring out the boombox. <laughs> Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Just keep on pressing. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seen, she seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything there I can use. Huh. Well, goddammit. Ask to be left out? You ask to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. And yet there you are. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot riding on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone that didn't require questioning. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, she... I mean, you can really only question. 
seems so. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Wait, oh, what? Yeah. She blatantly says that? At that point, nobody knew there was a murder. Only yeah, she seemed... could have known because she committed it. Yeah, that seems weird. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue while I don't see anything wrong with that statement. Oh, at least Edgeworth notices it. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Even Phoenix is dense as a brick. <laughs> Think. <laughs> now Edgeworth is it's defending Will Powers. <laughs> Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? <laughs> I, I have it more sneaky in my mind for some reason, but that she blatantly said it like that caught me off guard. I don't remember that at all. She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Ah! What a crucial mistake she made. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said. It's a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Oh, now I know. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. I guess I keep pressure on that then. How did you know about the injury? Uh, how did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal the director? Hmm. You have to find something to peg this one. This on her here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Even though Edgeworth did all the work. <laughs> oh. Oh. Indeed. Something that doesn't make sense. I'm not sure. It was the only statement that changed? Yeah, the last one. I immediately called the police, the security lady, agitated, asked to be le left out, went back to the trailer, mm. knew that Hammer was injured. Question is, do I have any definitive proof that would say that she wouldn't know? I only remember something that some people didn't pay much attention, but how would you prove that? Mm. Oh, jeez. There's the time of death. 2.30. Mm. Walking along at 2, that one went down at 2.15. 
and the rehearsal was like very way much earlier in the morning but who would confirm or not confirm if she was there at the rehearsal if any of the evidence would point to any of that I'm not sure either. Maybe press her again on other things? Would that do any kind of difference? Quite valuable, wouldn't have to be. Yeah, it's the same thing. There was a murder. Yeah, but we already had that. What? Uh, the entire thing? Oh, jeez. Oh, why is that entire thing repeating? Jesus. Hmm. So, oh my god, it's a recap. Because he was injured. See, find something. Mm, what are we missing? She we was with Sal and, Sal and old, old Bag when they found the body. Wait, but I thought Sal, her and Sal were there before anyone else. But once again, what kind of evidence would actually confirm that? Yeah, that's the question. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking about the car since she would, uh, she and Salmonella implicitly or allegedly, I mean, would have ha had to have used it together. Uh. I mean, Penny didn't pay any attention. I don't know. I think and Manella Penny... did actually know about it. Let's see. Pow. God damn it. And the assistant was there too. I don't know anything hmm. that would <laughs> prove that. This is Call so hard. Power showed up. She asked to be left out. No, nope. couldn't do any I action, mean, so I left them what, the what else can we do except just keep on? I mean, do you still have no? Do I still have a what? Yeah, you you went and got episode 13 script from Studio One at some point. But yeah, you don't she... have the script with you anymore. Let's see, am I focusing on the wrong thing? He knew that he was injured, so I, so she left them behind. left them behind to go where but I've already pressed her on it so I don't think she's gonna give any further detail I guess we can only uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. we cannot show her the badge wait is she missing no see I'm just gonna go ahead and Save in this spot. Oh, it's time to just try out shit until something works. This is weird. Why is this so hard? Well, at the very least, see if I can get some kind of hint at it from uh, failing. Maybe the faith. No, it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That statement contradicts this evidence. Oh. 
It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Oops! That didn't go so well. Uh... No, uh, no, I'm not getting any hints. Wait, what is the first thing she said? The first thing was that she was with Sal and Old Bag. Something and must have changed in a way that evidence became active now that you pressed her. I was with Sal and Old Bag. Was that the only pals was absent? The security lady. What time was that? Meet at 5 for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When did they arrive? About 10 minutes before. At 4.50. Wasn't stuffing any bodies in the costumes. And press it. Press yeah, on. maybe just pressing the other statements again. Except for the one that got you the newest statement. Well... Then you could have put hammer in that costume. Try to listen. Boy? No, I do not know. The assistant was there too. I feel like the assistant hasn't been brought up, like, at all in this entire case, so... But then again, I don't see any evidence that is related to her either. Wait, she wasn't a witness? No, she was supposedly doing prop work in the background the entire oh. time. According to Press herself. No. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should just pause it and see when we get somewhere. Did no one call him? Dead body lying around. See, uh, wouldn't you look for the missing person? I have to agree. Blah 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 blah. Ha, 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 ha. Mm. No one's thinking very logically. Get out of the samurai costume. Doesn't stand out. <sighs> Left him on the loca on the bus when he turned a location. I really think you have to bring some kind of evidence at this point. Think? But what is the contradicting evidence? Then power showed up. I don't know if that will be a contradiction. Old bag was well, agitated, pointing at power, saying he did it. That seems about right. She asked to be left out of the proceedings. That seems to be confirmed. Went back to the trailer get my script and direction notes. Is there anything that would indicate that she went elsewhere? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what? I was just thinking that the car would have had to been brought back to Studio 2, or at some point, by someone. Uh, yeah, we, we have to... I think we pause it here until we find something. Okay, so we figured it out now, and it was almost the first thing I guessed, and I don't know why it makes sense. I knew it that was Hammer was literally. In... Oh it was no! Literally. It is so obvious now. She said I knew that Hammer was injured, but Will Powers was the one that was injured. That is the hint. We were so caught uh, up yeah. about that, but Will Powers was the one who was injured. Goddamn body swapping. That is why this evidence is contradicting. We haven't realized that she said hammer instead of powers. 
you knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? what? Oh my god, that we didn't saw that. <laughs> it got confusing after a while. That's what the game banked on. That's what I mean with the subtle differences. The game gets pretty hard. <laughs> well, we had to run into a wall eventually. Yeah. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Ah. I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That, that's right. He must have got him it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Hm. You I mean, simply it's heard him wrong. <laughs> Actually, you didn't hear anything. Blah. You didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Oh. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after the after he put on the steel samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the steel samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that steel samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Yeah. Order, order, I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Uh, why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Hmm. Yes, yeah, she would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can prove it, oh boy. I mean... Of course I can't. Like, pff, what do you take me for? Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evident th evidence that Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder... I mean, I mean, this yeah, it's would... only the photo, right? Uh, da -da. It's the steak! She yeah. didn't share her steak with her! <laughs> that was the last straw. Huh? Ah, okay. This is my proof. This is... This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident pres 
precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His skill weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, Divasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last wall as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet we have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it were Mr. Hammer who had killed the Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. And it turns out, she's actually Hammer. W what is it now? This is critical. Did she have uh, a motive? I don't necessarily think so. She could have been self-defense, maybe? Yes, but that would make it not a motive to kill him. Him? He came to her. Indeed. About... And they they pointed out that that it sounds like that Mr. Hammer came to her that to murder her. Yes, that was something I had in the back of my mind, yes. which is why I was wondering if it was self-defense. So she doesn't need a motive in that case. That is my initial thought on that. I was I almost thought you wanted to click reveal evidence instead of that other th I mean did I did I blew it I'm very bad at subtle hints <laughs> No I I was looking at her having no motive since I said she had potentially just been uh, protecting herself Yeah the mouse is sometimes not showing where you are actually pointing I think <laughs> She had no motive your honor What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. There we go. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. W what? 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 No, that was me. What? <laughs> it wasn't her. <laughs> Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Well, that wasn't that much of a freak out. <laughs> well, she quit smoking, potentially. <laughs> so, you did do it, didn't you? Yes, I am guilty. It was me. I have now stopped smoking. <laughs> oh, the throat cancer is gone immediately healthier. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. Oh, what happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel. Um, Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. <laughs> no, no. How could this... It was an accident. The hammer was doing an action scene and I don't know who's talking. No, Manuel! Manuel! 
Don't it touch him be. with what's case. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. No! Please, please don't die. Please. Oh, there's the pipe again. And it's gone. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Diva Scarce? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought an, about yet another miracle. <laughs> I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you are right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Well Powers, not guilty. Oh, his pose. Jesus. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. We did it! Somehow. By fumbling around. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder? It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Oh, that is the same thing as with Larry Butts. Oh, I know it. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Mr. Monkey was stealing his sunshine. Or, or was it? Mm. Or all the kids were fans of him. Yeah, I, I mean, that was my guess. Or he took all his steak. Yeah, no, this oh, is... Oh, that's not as emotional, though. Mm, think with your fancy instead of your logic. Hiya! It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I, I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. I'd never have to go through that maze of our studio again. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> Congratulations, VP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to down the steel samurai eight foot once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Oh, why? Huh? Is something wrong? No, of course not. Ah! N Nick Edgeworth! He's such a weird face from the front. His nose is weird from the front view. Just a bit. Say something, White. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away with it if you hadn't stepped in. Because Phoenix is an idiot sometimes. Ah, uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> <laughs> you smell nice. Well, ah, uh, um... Edgeworth, and don't smell my hair. 
I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. White. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Just every time we touch, I have these feelings. Unnecessary feelings. Oh man, you didn't continue it. <laughs> yes. Well, we don't want to get copyrighted. Wait, oh, I hear about that. Singing a song too, too accurately can actually get you copyrighted. Well, I don't know. I mean, I hear about that. But come on, for for <laughs> one, I am not even that famous to begin with, and second, it will never match with anything automatically. Presumably not. Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix White. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Well, it's not his fault if you're the persecutor every time. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? Why can't they be friends? Why can't they be friends? Oh god, I don't know how that song goes. They are rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Mm hmm, that is a story for a later time, I suppose. Hmm, no, we will see. And so the curtain closed on another trial. It, I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Pink Princess! But it's of course the same opening track. <laughs> Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go with it. You have to buy training cards too, okay? Gotcha games in real life, yay! <laughs> we have to trade with Cody and that assistant, even though we will never fine. see them again. <laughs> oh, fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that VP gets to play the lead again? Wait, he's the pink princess? I guess so. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Especially as the Pink Princess. Do, 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 do. The end. And with that, another chapter is over. Done oh boy, done. that episode is already... Ha! Oh, there he is. The legend. This is the... This is probably the dude you saw all the memes about do you recognize the face which one the parrot no the the biggest one no i don't recognize that particular face no but that is definitely the one you were we were talking about earlier hmm well i will see if i recognize him in context. Yeah, maybe you only realize it when he's in Sprite, but this has to be the one that you were talking about. We shall see. Okay. Yeah. Click further, I want to see if... Oh, there's probably nothing. No, it's just saving content. So we end the episode here for now. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching up until this point. We are very deep into this right now. And as always, stay tuned for more.
And if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell.